featuring the three degree guarantee. Sponsored by Capital Credit Union. Well, it was a beautiful day across most of Wisconsin. Lots of sunshine and warm temperatures in Green Bay. It hit 79. That was the warmest temperature in a week. And Mother Nature is going to be turning up the thermostat here as we head into the next week. 79 again tomorrow, a little bit cooler over the weekend. It looks like mainly lower 70s. We'll see upper 70s on Monday. And then, yes, 80s and 90s as we head into Tuesday and Wednesday of next week as some heat and humidity returns to Wisconsin. Today, our main weather maker was an area of high pressure now pushing off to the south and east, but there was also a weak trough of low pressure that kind of rotated through the afternoon. It kicked off a few scattered showers and thunderstorms north and east of Green Bay. That area of high pressure will give us mostly clear skies tonight, but an area of low pressure now approaching from the west could kick off an isolated shower later on tonight towards tomorrow morning and then a better chance for some showers and a few thunderstorms for tomorrow afternoon. You can see right now it does have a large area of rain associated with it here across eastern Nebraska and far western Iowa. It looks like that steadier, heavier rain is going to pass to our south, but some scattered showers and thunderstorms are likely as we move through tomorrow afternoon and early evening. Temperature wise across the upper Midwest today really feeling more like summer upper 70s to lower 80s. Our weather is coming from the west and that means it's going to even warm up a little bit more compared to today across much of the viewing area. Upper 70s to lower 80s expected tomorrow afternoon. We'll have that mixture of sun and clouds and once again there will be that chance for a scattered shower or thunderstorm. You can see that here on Skycast tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock sunshine mixing with clouds and then a chance for that shower or thunderstorm as we head through the afternoon and early evening. Right now, severe weather is not expected. As you take a look at the Storm Prediction Center, severe weather outlook for tomorrow, you can see that general thunderstorms are in the forecast. So far this month, no severe weather here in northeast Wisconsin. We're already a third through the month in what is typically our busiest severe weather month of the entire year. Let's just hope it stays that way. On Saturday, yet another system moves in. It looks like thickening clouds, and here we are at 8 o'clock. And there's the bell and run right there. So, yeah, it looks like cloudy skies with the chance for some showers. And that chance for showers will be increasing as the morning wears on. We'll have a period of light rain or showers and maybe even a thunderstorm during the afternoon. Here are the specifics as far as the Bellman Run are concerned. Mid and then upper 60s between 8 and 10 o'clock. Cloudy skies with that chance for some rain. So just keep that in mind if you are running. Tonight, patchy fog, maybe an isolated shower after midnight. Overnight lows will be in the lower 50s. Tomorrow, we can expect lots of sunshine, but there will be that chance for a shower or a thunderstorm, much like today. But instead of just north of Green Bay, it's going to be area wide. Our normal high is 75, so a good five to six degrees above that. My three degree guarantee for tomorrow is 79. If I can hit that high within three degrees, we will donate $100 to Wise Women Gathering Place, and we did that today. I forecast 78 and the high temperature was 79 degrees on Saturday. Cloudy skies that chance for some light rain showers or maybe a thunderstorm 72 on Sunday. Pretty nice 77 on Monday and then the heat and humidity really returns. It looks like many spots on both Tuesday and Wednesday will be up into the 90s. I'm Joe St. George in Washington. It's been nearly a year and a half since the January 6th attack at the Capitol. And while you may have moved on, the select committee investigating that day has not. Tonight, they hold their first public hearing. We break down what to expect next. Tonight in prime time, the first public hearing of the January 6th committee will take place in Washington. The group was formed last summer after the attack at the Capitol while Congress was trying to certify the 2022.